few years ago, I had the opportunity to travel halfway across the world to India. I visited the Golden Triangle of New Delhi, Agra, and Jaipur, watching the sunrise at the Taj Mahal, visiting famous forts and palaces. It was the trip of a lifetime. But would you believe me if I told you I did this all in three days? This is what I call binge travel. Much like spending a weekend streaming the entire season of the latest TV show, binge travel involves spending a weekend somewhere that isn't home. It took me 30 hours to get to New Delhi, and I was on the ground for 72 hours. Luckily, I have no problem sleeping on planes, and I was able to hire a driver to save time. He was super helpful, directing me to the main attractions at the right times, and he was really affordable at only $80 for the entire trip. I was able to visit two sites in each city. And let me tell you, going to the Taj Mahal at sunrise is the best way to avoid the crowds. You really only need a couple hours to see each site. More time would be nice, but it's not required to appreciate being somewhere new. Through binge travel, I visited more than 65 countries and 40 states, three days at a time, all while working full time as a city planner. Some of the places I visited over a long weekend include London, Rio de Janeiro, Dubai, Hong Kong, and even Patagonia. But binge travel isn't just taking a weekend to go to the other side of the world. I like to define binge travel as doing more travel with less time. It's taking a trip near or far and having a plethora of travel experiences in a short period of time. Whether I take a trip to Tokyo or to Moab, these travel experiences are valuable. Binge travel is an unconventional way to think about and to engage in travel that can drive innovation, encourage diversity, and disrupt outdated social norms. Mark Twain famously said that travel is fatal to prejudice, bigotry, and narrow-mindedness. This quote is backed by research that shows experiencing new cultures increases your depth of thought and your cognitive flexibility, the ability to jump between different ideas. Health-wise, travel reduces your risk for heart attack and heart disease. Travel even improves your productivity at work. And travel causes a direct increase in happiness. There are even studies that show women who go on vacation at least twice a year are more satisfied in their marriages. The ability to take advantage of binge travel opportunities opens up a world of benefits like these to more than just the rich and the retired. Knowing that there's so much data supporting travel, it's also surprising that most Americans don't even, don't even take their paid vacation days if they have any. This is where binge travel comes in handy. If you only need to take a few days to go on a trip, then why not? I want to challenge you all to stop thinking that you need to spend one or two weeks in order to go anywhere worthwhile. Travel doesn't have to take that much time or money. My own motto is that it's never worth going into debt. It also helps if you set your own rules for travel. I recommend setting a budget and having a list of destinations ready so you can book that flight when you see a great deal. The idea that there is a cheapest day or time to travel or to book a flight is simply false. Those tips are purely based on data from the past year and don't predict future airfares at all. My personal rule for binge travel is that my flight cannot cost more than $100 per day that I'm at my destination. And really, I'm open to any destination that fits the bill. So yes, this means that my flight to India was under $300 round trip. <laughs> Here's a list of some of the best deals I've scored in the past, including one from Salt Lake City. If you regularly follow any number of travel bloggers or flight tracking websites, you'll likely come across deals like these from time to time. Sometimes they're just really good sales, and other times the airline makes a mistake and you get lucky. But really, we're all lucky to live in Salt Lake City, where our airport is a hub for a major international airline. 
This means that other, air, other airlines often drop prices from Salt Lake in what's called a fair war just to compete. Travel also doesn't have to be far. In the most basic sense, travel is the movement of people from one location to a different location. And more concretely, the United Nations and the US government define travel as any trip of 50 miles or more. It really doesn't matter why you travel or even where you travel. What's important is that you travel. Being born and raised in Hawaii, surrounded by tourism, flying was required to go anywhere, which my family really couldn't afford. But I was privileged to have a passport at a young age in order to visit my mother's family in Thailand every few years. We struggled to make that trip happen, but we were fortunate to have that opportunity to travel to another country and experience something different than home. I'm not rich. I have never been rich. But many people think I must have a lot of money because I travel so much. But here's the thing. If you wait until you have a lot of time and a lot of money, you might not get to go anywhere. In college, I learned a little bit of travel hacking and discovered that travel can be affordable with a little bit of research. And while money can be hard to come by, what I truly can control is my time. I can choose to take advantage of holiday weekends and red-eye flights to go to faraway places. There's a lot more to travel than a cheap flight. There's also an art to finding cheap accommodations and activities. I've often traveled alone, so for me, it has been more affordable to rent a bed in a hostel while I binge travel, especially if I only need it to shower and to sleep. And they often have lots of free and fun activities. I've been on so many free walking tours and bike tours. They're a great way to see the highlights of a place on a short trip and to make fast friends if you're traveling solo. There are so many ways to make the most of binge travel, even if you'd rather spend more time at your destination. At the core of binge travel is the idea that travel can change the world. Travel is a catalyst for equality and inclusivity and drives sustainable development. And if travel, typically seen as an aspirational and leisure activity, is so important and life-changing, then everyone should have access to it. So travel more, and maybe even binge travel here and there. Travel for your own good, and I promise the investment is worth it. Thank you.